Hey Capricorn, I hope you're well. In today's reading, we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for the rest of the year. Judgment, Chariot, Justice. So Scorpio here twice, Cancer, Libra, and Pisces. And Libra, Taurus with Venus here. Doesn't have to be, but that is the energy they are bringing towards you for the month. So this person, there's something... I think it may be a third party here because if we look at your love cards, we have trap and naivety. Uh, there's three people in this image. I'm not seeing much of an issue between how you both relate to each other. We have sextile opportunity, uh, Venus love. Uh, this is a great friendship between you two. You feel at ease with each other. Um, we have Jupiter conjunct ascendant here. So it says a generous, supportive, adventurous, great friendship. You like each other. Um, Venus is harmonious energy as well for someone's feelings. Um, but with that tower moment, there was some sort of um, something that happened in the past. I'm not sure if this was a separation, but whatever this tower moment was, this person is doing a lot of the waiting and watching. Um, they are really reassessing the past. Ace of Wands, they do want a new passionate beginning with you with an equal give and take. Um, a lot of, with Justice and Six of Pentacles, someone who uh, values um, equality in relationships. Trust your shadow side, there's much you can learn. Yeah, this person is working on themselves. But they, they could have had... Um, many options in the past but with that knight of cups they are charging towards you there is emotion with the venus love and knight of cups moon um, but i'm not sure if they're expressing that outright to you because of that moon but they're being careful um here let's clarify with the mixed emotions and then we'll talk about this further there could be some jealousy in regards to you with all this Scorpio energy as well. Okay, so we have sad, irritated, uh, comforted. Why? Well, they're missing you and they're, they're reminiscing on the past here, but that irritation, why? Just be careful because of how these flipped out. This person could be lonely and bored right now. And is, that's why they want to come back. But you would know. Um, use your intuition for that one. Either they're lonely and bored. Um, and then they're coming back for some entertainment. Or... Uh, since you've left them, they feel left out here and a bit apathetic. But I want to clarify irritated. I'm getting jealousy, but I wanted to clarify. We have angry, hopeless. Your This connection is triggering this person. Okay, yeah, we have, we actually have trapped here tw three times in this reading because we had it in your advice as well. Uh, it's almost as if they have a lot of, there's a lot of fire they feel within themselves, a lot of passion for you, but they're unable to express it. So that's angering them and they're well aware of this. They know that they need to work on this. These 12th house matters or shadow work um, because you trigger some insecurities within them. 
but they're very contradicting in their energy. We have hopeful and hopeless, so at times they feel a bit optimistic and other times they're pessimistic in regards to this connection. But I want to see um, Capricorn, how you will be feeling. This person could think that you're giving to other people. And that makes them feel a bit insecure. We have a jealous, compassionate, comforted. So it could be that you're also feeling jealous if they are with someone else or they put you in a third party. There could be some suspicious energy coming from you. But we also have empathetic, caring, sympathetic, and reassured, consoled, nourished. Um, so we are getting that with Jupiter conjunct ascendant. You both feel like home to each other. And these feelings are mutual. Um, very generous with each other when things are good. But I'm not sure what the issue is. It's almost as if the issue isn't between both of you, but it's a third party. Um, but there can be many different scenarios here, but I don't see much, um, not many ill feelings coming from you. This is overall very positive energy, high vibrational. But two messages from this person we have, I'm going to use manipulative tactics to have my way with you. I'm going to risk it all for you. I think you're worth the risk. So it makes me think that this person may have been involved or committed elsewhere and they want to come towards you. Um, but very jealous, possessive type of energy. Uh, for your advice, we have self-sabotage. So a limiting beliefs are holding you back. You will never know what you are capable of unless you try. Don't be afraid to fail. Be, be afraid of not trying. It's interesting because we have this lady behind these bars and we have another lady behind these bars. So it could be that this connection is triggering you as well. And then we have death shall not take him, number three. Very interesting card. I'll read this to you. The oracle of death shall not take him as a sign. No matter how defeated you feel, no matter how many dead ends you've encountered, how many setbacks, how many failures, no matter how impossible success may seem, the universe is going to step in and write things in your favor. You will succeed. Even though apparently impossible odds, the heroic spirit within you is going to get its way. So if you really must doubt just for one moment longer, then replace doubt with trust and participate in the divine defiance of life, refusing to be crushed. The universe wants to dazzle you with an unexpected triumph. Why not just relax and bear witness to its impressive display of life-giving power with the reverence and delight? Yeah, so things may have been tough in regards to this connection, and it's telling you to hang in there and things will be improving. You will be winning in some aspect of your life, but that is a bit of wait and watch energy. But hang in there, um, really focus on your thoughts and try to keep them as positive as possible so you can attract more positivity towards you. But other than that, I'm seeing a very easy flowing connection between you both, but there is a third element getting in the way. But that is all I have for you, Capricorn. Hopefully this was helpful. If it resonated, do comment and like. Otherwise, take care of yourself and I will see you later. Bye.